Good Monday, everybody. How are you? Hooligan is in the house, and I'm literally back in the house. We are here at HQ. Do a quick tab so you all can see that, yes, I'm finally back in a place that has good internet, unlike my home. <laughs> good Monday, everyone. It is uh, June 7th? 8th. Oh, my God, it's June 8th. Anyways... Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, in Haley's case, good morning, Haley, if you're joining us all the way in Australia. Uh, hey, hi. <laughs> good morning, Haley. Thank you for joining us. Bob, how are you? Dane is joining us. Oh, look at everyone popping up. Miguel, hello, Miguel. How are you feeling? Folks, I am back in HQ, finally. Troy, how's it going, Troy? Roger Dodgers in the house. Wow, I love how you guys all greet each other. That just gives me goosebumps. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but I have goosebumps. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, today, I'm just going to be really focusing on the La Muerta campaign. And um, yes, I, I am back. <laughs> it's really nice to be in HQ. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad they helped, but you make Tuesday much better because sometimes Tuesdays are worse than Mondays, Haley. I agree with you on that one. Um, but I'm just going to go over and show you guys, uh, all the really cool, uh, Kickstarter stuff. The La Muerta one will be wrapping up here in about two weeks. Also for anyone who has yet to pre-order the action figure or the statue, you need to have your orders in by Friday. Uh, we will be wrapping up the pre-orders on the action figure and the statue. Um, so if you haven't picked one up or you've been debating, uh, time to jump up on that horse and giddy up because they're riding off into the sunset. And once they're done, like everything else at Coffin, they're gone. So uh, definitely, please, 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 if you haven't ordered the new Lady Death figure or the statue, definitely get your orders in before Friday so we can make sure we get it all hooked up. All right. Oh, yes, these are wicked. These are the um, Chase editions. And these are, again, we're doing the Funko Pop theme like we did with Lady Death. And it's funny, we actually do have to uh, put out a warning. like these are not figures. These are actual comic books. Uh, a lot of folks think that uh, we offer these. Look. We do such a good job, people think it's the real thing. So, yes. I believe these are the Omegas. Oh, yeah, look at these Omegas. You know when you get an Omega in the chase one because you, you can't miss that Omega symbol at all. There's the Omega Blue. Omega Red. Ah, these are so nice. And they're only mock-ups, so you know the real things are going to be even better. It's the purple Omega. Wow, what else is there? Oh, gold Omega. I like how that gold looks on that costume. It really has a nice shine to it. Really nice graphics. Nice layout on this stuff. I believe this is an emerald. Green looks good. Let's see how the silver looks. How does the silver look on this? Ooh, okay probably actually white but oh bob let me get to that in the announcement yes there is going to be a new lady death swimsuit edition everybody um very cool idea um we'll be definitely doing some promos on it i'm sure you'll be seeing here coming up if i'm not mistaken uh when were we planning to do the promos uh, 619 is when you will be able to see uh, stuff popping up on the swimsuit. So we are bringing it back. We are doing a swimsuit edition. Uh, for those who are getting the VIP newsletter, which you can sign up for in the links uh, we have here, um, it'll let you know about all these cool editions we got coming up. So don't hesitate. Sign up for the VIP newsletter. Like Bob says, I mean, there's some new stuff. It'll tell you what we got coming down the pike. So... 
yes, there will be a new Lady Death swimsuit. And um, knowing Brian, it's all going to be new art. So it's going to be amazing. Really cool stuff. Um, I believe June 19th, you'll start seeing uh, some adverts for it. Um, but we just announced it. So there will be a Lady Death swimsuit. So keep your eyes and ears open. Um, we'll be releasing all the stuff as it comes out towards you. Also, Bob, it was great talking to you again last week. Thank you for reaching out to me. Next up, these are the Metal Legendary Editions. See, they're all nice and serial numbered. Really beautiful pieces. I cannot wait to get the finished product on these. And these are the legendary metals. 13 will be produced. <clears throat> also, over the weekend, guys, uh, we unlocked the 110K uh, La Muerta Retaliation bookmark. So that will be available. Also, for um, folks who've never done Kickstarter, jump on there. It's a really easy to... Get yourself set up an account. Um, there's a lot of really cool products we offer on our Kickstarters, unlike anyone else. I mean, our our promo, a little freebie packs we hand out have so much stuff. It's it's crazy. I don't know how we can grab so much stuff into one bag and give it all to you guys. And it's free for those. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Ugh. Free on those stretch goals, and our stretch goals are amazing. I mean, we've even thrown in black and white editions. There's trading cards. We threw in creepy crawlers, if people don't remember what creepy crawlers were. One of the coolest toy lines I remember growing up. But this is one of the stuff we are going to be offering on the La Muerte Kickstarter, which wraps up in two weeks. Um, the Metal Legends editions will be randomly distributed across all reward tiers. So that's one thing I really think that separates us from everyone else is we'll throw in these beautiful random editions that I'll be showing you today. We'll just throw them in. Why? Because we can't do what we do without you guys. And to be honest, I think we have some of the best fans the best fiends and the best sworn anywhere in comic history. So I'm, that's from my opinion and I'm very biased because I work here and I think we do some amazing things. And I think you guys can all agree, we do some pretty amazing things for y'all. So thank you very much. So that's the Metal Legendary Editions. And then this is the Metal Card set we got coming up. Look at those. This. Monty Moore is just stunning. I actually made this the background on my phone from the pencil sketch. It's just a beautiful, beautiful image. I mean, when it was revealed, um, my jaw hit the floor and I saved the photo right away and I made it the background. Matthew Davis, thank you for joining us. I'm waving at you. Hi, Matthew Davis. And then we also have the, uh, this is the Coffee Co. La Muerta metal card. Made to look like a Funko Pop. Really cool. Oh, this is stunning. This is another mock-up metal card. And this is the Predator. Look at that. Richard Ortiz sends you. Oh, I'm going to so ruin your name. I'm not going to do that because that would be harsh. Sanju. Sanju. I can pronounce the first name per correctly. Uh, Nava Guni? I'm not going to do that. That's terrible. I'm terrible with names. Another metal card edition. This is the lethal card. Wow, that's really nice. I kind of like that she's only the only thing colored on the whole metal card. Just really makes that image pop really good. Stunning place. Lies Chatzuda did this production for us. Look at that. Stunning piece. Wow. He's really knocking him out of the park. Again, there we go. Here's the Metal Legendary one. This is a mock-up. This one they're calling the Vigilante. And that's one thing that's cool about the backs of our uh, metal cards. We have the name of the edition, how many were made, um, and then we also put in the artist group. 
or the artist responsible for making those cards um, be put in there. Names and information. There we go. Hey, let's get that on. We are on to the mystery envelope stuff. This is the number 13 edition. This is the <laughs> La Muerta Pinups number one hollow foil lucky 13 editions. Wow, look at that. And again, don't look at these in direct sunlight. You will go blind. That is some beautiful foiling right there. Jeez Louise, look at that. Stunning. That's the number 13 edition. Lucky 13. Now, here we go to all the different um, other mystery envelope things right here. The Fomenko edition. There's only going to be 40 of this produced. Look at that. This is all mystery envelope, guys. This is on the La Muerta Kickstarter. Click on the link to go ahead and pledge. This is the Space Case edition. Stunning. And it's great with this, um, seeing La Muerta's costume and just how they blend in in the background is great. I love it. It's got that really classic sci-fi text um, right up there. I just love that graphic. Really cool. And next up, we have the Wasteland Warrior. It's another mystery envelope we're offering. Matthew, where are you joining us from today, by the way? Oh, hi, Bob. And this is probably one of my favorites right here. The punk rock edition. I just love how this is laid out. I really love the tiling texture he did on the skull. Just really cool looking like mosaic. Beautiful pieces. Just beautiful. Joe Gomez does amazing work. I'm sure you all know that. Let's look at that. But this is the mystery envelope editions. These are all the different versions of La Muerta. Kind of similar to our uh, the Little Lady Death ones we've been doing. This is the uh, Cyborg edition. La Muerta in the future. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> As I was panning down, I saw uh, Gomez's signature. And for a second there, I was like, are those sunglasses on the ground behind her? <sighs> Another really good one. This is the uh, Pirate edition, limited to 40. I say, guys, our mystery envelopes are a lot of fun. And it's fun to pack up mystery envelopes um, when you're doing the Kickstarters because we're just randomly picking them and, and you're just like, oh, I wonder who's going to be the individual that's going to get uh, whatever's in here because nine times out of ten, we don't even know what's in there when we pull them because it's just a big envelope. This is La Muerta Medieval Edition, another mystery envelope. Again, limited to 40. Really cool imagery on here. I really just, ah, you can just feel the texture in the background there. It's just amazing what he's done. Really striking imagery. Wow, this might be ranking right up there with number two at that punk rock one. Just really nice, nice medieval. All right, now we have the Viking edition. Muerta Viking Edition, limited to 40. And Joel Gomez. Gorgeous. Now yeah, you have the Cowgirl. This is also a mystery envelope. And everything I'm showing you today, guys, is for the La Muerta Kickstarter. <clears throat> Those are also limited to 40. Next, we have the Criminal Edition, which is an homage to 1920s and 30s gangsters. I love that fedora. We got Brandy and Sean in the background. So, you know, hey, everything is pretty much back to normal, folks. Um, I want to again thank you, everyone, for watching me from my little home for the last few weeks. It's really nice to be back. This is the uh, La Muerta Jaguar. It's really nice to be back in HQ. Um, hearing the shout outs from everyone. 
It's nice to hear Sean. Sean does a lot of yawning and stretching throughout his day, so it's awesome to hear those sounds coming out of his office again after, you know, over two months of pretty much silence. Victorian, that Victorian is stunning, wow. I'd like to see this as a jeweled too. Wow, look at that, so beautiful, love. Haley says hi, Brandy and Psycho. <laughs> um, I did the shout out for you, Haley. Unfortunately, I think Brandy's back in the warehouse and Sean is Kind of around the corner from me. All right, here we go. Some more. This is Scarlet Metal Edition. Really stunning piece. I love the uh, like Aztec text uh, graphics in the background. This is a really beautiful piece. And again, there's only going to be 13 made. <clears throat> um. Also, the Scarlet Medals will also be randomly distributed across all tiers. So high, ball, high rollers, mega ballers, legendary, all the way down to just folks that just order a graphic novel. You know, we, we hand out really cool high dollar stuff, extras, and people just randomly throwing in. It's always fun to like get that order when you're picking the orders and there's a note that says winner. And it's like, whoa, we got a winner. So we run around and whoop it up and pack it up and uh, ship it off. And, you know, you can't wait to get to see those message boards on Facebook when people are like, hey, I got that one edition. It's always cool to see stuff like that. It makes you feel real proud to know that, you know, we're the type of publisher. We give people uh, an opportunity to get a lot of these rare editions and we make it even for everyone. So we just randomly throw them in. Again, there's a lot. We're also well known for our prints. And we have lots of prints for this Lamorta edition. Again, here's the Monty Moore one. That is really beautiful. I think that's might. This image right here just might come into a close first <laughs> for one of my favorite covers for Lamorta. That is just amazing. Amazing. And then the homage. Oh, so nice to see this get put into production. Um, I've seen this image uh, in the office, in Jimmy and Sean's office for, I don't know, almost a year now, maybe maybe six months to a year. Um, and it's just been sitting. It was just a, a something that someone um, printed off on the printer but yeah, that's all I've seen of it. And I was like, oh, I thought we'd already made this edition. Now here to see it, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's an amazing homage. Hey, Sean's watching. Haley made me give a shout out to uh, Sean, to you and Brandy, because she heard you all in the background. Look at this. This is really beautiful. Probably gonna get in trouble for showing the naughty bits, but hey, sometimes it happens. This is Richard Ortiz's. <sighs> wow. Wow. That is beautiful. I've seen a lot of Richard Ortiz covers and editions, but that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Good job, Richard. This one I like. Um, this is the one where we had the metal card and we didn't have the um, the Reaper or anything in the background painted. This is what it looks like completely colored and it is stunning. I really like the green and the bullet holes we put inside the coffin behind her. <sighs> oh man, that is so beautiful, Sean. Don't you agree? Look at that. Try not to curse on the internet. I know some people get upset by that, so I'll try not to. John Boy Myers, boom! Look at that, I love the psycho imaging he gave her eyes. It's just like, man, she ain't playing around. She's gonna just gack some guy. So, so amazing. 
God. John Boy Myers. Stunning work, man. Stunning work. Man, we got some good artists. What else we got here? Oh, this one's great. Sora Song, I believe. Boom. It's great. Locos hideout. Really cool imagery. So dramatic. So beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to read this book, guys. I cannot wait to read this book. Another 11 by 17 print. Not too familiar with this gentleman's work. Varsi. You know, we always talk about, you know, if they ever do movies for some of our characters and La Muerta is like, you know, Rodriguez, I'm almost like, you know what? I'd love to see what John Woo would do with a La Muerta film. Man, there'd be doves everywhere, man. Doves would cry, damn it. There you go. There's another a little better look at the... Um, what would be because the Coffin Co. Funko Pop parodies, homages. I'm glad we can blow everyone's minds. It's great to work for a company where I get excited every time Brian shows up and he's got boxes of stuff. It's like, oh man, what do you got? What do you got underneath them that box, man? What's going on? Really awesome Diego Bernard image right there. Bam. Nice. These are all on the Kickstarter. There's a link that you guys can click on to go ahead and see what there is that we have to offer. Um, like I say, this is just a small samplings. Our Kickstarters, we have so many editions. Uh, like this is the one Brian shot off on Friday. Whew. This is the Emerald Metal Edition. And these are also things that we're just going to be randomly inserting. Look at that. And it's weird, it's interesting, this, uh, the camera really doesn't do this green justice. You gotta really hold it in your hands and see it physically, but that green is just, wow. It's a really beautiful emerald green. Just, ooh. Yeah, the camera does not do that green any justice. It's really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And here's um, a little samplings of all the other editions. And then I, I love that we're doing this. I'm glad that we're putting uh, chapter notes on each book so folks know where the story is. So we get questions like that a lot. Let's see, official mock ups, mock up editions. It's the homage. So these are some of the editions for people wondering that, yes, I actually do. Um, if there's any copies left, I do put these on eBay. Um, I won't be uploading anything on eBay for a little while until we get all our inventories uh, reset. And then also, um, for all you folks that have been picking up um, stuff on eBay, um, I'm going to be sitting down with Brandy and we're going to try to figure out um, a little better uh, shipping uh, costs for y'all. So it is something we are looking into and something we're going to be discussing fairly soon. All right, let me put my fingertures right there to block it. Interesting enough, there's certain words we can't say on this show, like ver and gin. Um, so uh, one of the retailers told me to use the terminology vegan for vegan art, because apparently some people tend to uh, <laughs> tend to flag their things just for saying uh, weird gin. So yeah, go figure. Some people are offended about that. That's the naughty cover. Oh, what did you have for it, Haley? Um, airport to our office. I'd say roughly, Haley, it's like maybe 30, 35 minutes. <laughs> so being in Phoenix, uh, almost everything. Oh. Thank you, Haley. Thank you for censoring yourself. I think it's silly, but isn't that beautiful? Uh, wait, put up the fingers. 
I, oh God, I almost said something really bad. And I think, God, I caught myself. But this is the uh, naughty edition for our Kickstarter of Lamerta Ascension, or Retaliation. Now this, I love jewels. I was wondering how this would look, but this is a mock-up of the jeweled edition. I love that she placed the jewels on the bullet shells as they're ricocheting out of the gun. You also got one right there in the fire, up there in the background. Oh, man. One of these days, I'm going to get these jewels to pop just right. Right there on her gun belt. Just, wow, look at that. So this is what the jeweled edition. Oh, my God, and they did something neat, really neat down here. Check this out. They actually put jewels down at the bottom. I have not seen her do that yet and that is amazing wow good job shannon nice work let's get this set up all right here's the hollow foil edition again these are the mock-ups the books are not finished they're just so just little mock-ups for our videos that you guys will sometimes see on the ebay store oh isn't that a beautiful image Brian has a huge collection of these things. I mean, yeah, as you can see, there's, there's a lot of them. We could literally start a library of just all of his uh, standees here. Hi, Daryl. How are you? Thank you for joining us. How was your weekend, sir? I hope you were well and you were healthy. Also, we have the um, La Muerta Retaliation Original Art Edition. And these are really nice. Um, I heard um, Dawn McTigg talk about how she likes to draw on these, and I believe um, Joel even said so because the paper we use is really good at capturing the inks and, and the other stuff the artist needs. So we do really good quality covers um, on these original arts. I've heard the artists say this themselves. Um, they really like the texture. It is the hooligan show. Daryl, what's something fun and crazy you did this weekend? Come on, don't be shy now. Let's see, I believe this is going to be the soft cover edition right there. Really nice. I can't wait to get my hands on these copies. Here is the metal edition. Again, this is just a mock up. Let's give you an idea of what to expect. John Boy Myers is doing that. Man. He gave us some local eyes, man. Those are, those are like, I'm going to kill you eyes. I love that. Amazing. Well, I'm glad you had a good weekend, Daryl. What'd you end up doing? Were you doing hooligan things like I sometimes do? <laughs> as long as I don't get caught, I think all is good. Now, probably the one thing I'm proudest that we're reintroducing is the sculpted covers. These... Sculpted editions are so damn amazing. There's nothing harder than working for a publisher that makes cool stuff like this, that you have seen them being built, you've seen them being developed, you've seen the trial and errors on it, and when you see the final product, it's just amazing. And these are what we're going to tip in to um, the Kickstarters. Random orders are going to randomly get these. Ten are gonna, just going to be tipped in randomly. It's really cool. I mean, it's really stunning. I showed this to my uh, brother-in-law, Billy, who's a really, uh, he collected comics in the 90s and used to bought him, buy them from me uh, back in the day before I married his sister. Um, I didn't know him. He was just one of those skateboard kids that would come along to the to the shop to do some shopping. And he, I was telling him, uh, and showed him the video when we revealed this. He's like, oh, man, it's taking me back to the 90s when all just comic book covers were just really just something out of this world. And he is uh, does a lot of woodwork um, and does an amazing job. And he was just like, wow, just the, the textures he was seeing on the videos when I was showing, I was like, oh, man, you can see, like, the hearts and all this other stuff. He was blown away by the work that was done on this. And he works on those really fancy multi-million dollar houses with the nice wood trims and stuff like that. And he was he was really amazed by the quality of this cover. 
Um, so these are going to be randomly thrown in for you folks. Also, and I love that they're doing a t-shirt of this. Bam! The Muerta John Boy Myers art. That is a really cool shirt. And I will wear mine with pride. I've been really wanting a La Muerta shirt. And now we're going to get her. Bam, look at that. Psycho. She's going to kill you. Don't mess around with La Muerta. Sorry. I like to hit my falsettos. Uh, over here, this is the fine art print. Dark Reaper. Just stunning. This is a really amazing image. Um, everyone was all, all a buzz when uh, this image, which was just a, the pencil sketch. I mean, I remember seeing online, people are going nuts. I went nuts. I made this my screensaver on my screen. Ah, uh, you know what, Daryl? That just means something else amazing and lucky is going to come your way. You know that, right? If we won all the fun stuff all the time, what fun would it be? That just means something really amazing is coming your way, Daryl. I can sense it. Some more other additions. These ones are really cool because they look like the old pulp novels from the 60s. Just, I love that. It just really, really captures the... Uh, the old pulp uh, novels I used to see, um, like detective magazines even when I was a kid. Um, my mom used to work in a truck shop in Flagstaff. And I would see all these magazines. Um, little did my mom know I was also looking at the Playboys. <laughs> oh, I was such a delinquent at eight. <laughs> but these are the Mexi Noir editions. Really cool art, really. Mirhoff, Matt Mirhoff did the images. This, I really like the Aztec dragon in the background and that really cool, like very like light, light green skull. And of course, what well, Kickstarter would not be anything at Coffin without the Mendoza set. This is really cool. I loved how he did La Muerta, just stunning. Beautiful, fun, amazing. Then, some other really cool stuff. <clears throat> it's a mock-up of the Crystal Metallico cover. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Those jeweled editions are amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I love the red inside the roses. Stunning work. Look at that. On the rosaries, the beading... Buckles on her belt. Just, wow. I can't wait. I can't wait. Cannot wait to pick this stuff for you guys. Then we have the Mama, Mama Z La Muerta Deadly Duo set. And this are two separate books. When you get them both, they make one big image. I love that about 90s comics too. Um, it was a couple publishers that actually did books that um, when you bought them all, it made a huge collaged image. Um, a lot of different people uh, haven't got that. Well, Miguel, um, we'll have to figure something out for you one of these days. One of these days. Who knows? Maybe they'll show up on the eBay store. Sometimes they do if there's any left, but a lot of this stuff tends to sell out fairly quickly. How many Bex, uh, Kickstarters have you backed with us, Miguel? Has it been all of them? I think it's probably at least been all of them. So there's the another Dark Reaper. There's going to be 150 of this edition made. 150, the Lethal Edition. Wow, that, that Lethal Edition is really nice. And then you have the Naughty Mama Z, also limited to 150. Man, Richard Ortiz really did some beautiful. That's so nice. Nice work. Here we go, the legend set. So you get text version with the logo, the noir, and the vegan art.
<laughs> well, you have never missed, Miguel. Let's see, you looking at the Kickstarter books. <laughs> Randy, Randall Hawthorne is in the house, guys. He must have just made it home. And then also, oh, look, everybody, Resident Badass is in the house. Coop, yes. Coop. How's everybody doing? Yeah, everybody. Coop's going to pop in and say hi to everyone, take a look around. We're getting ready to wrap up for our day and head home. Coop, how was your weekend? All right, what have we been working on? We've been working on just getting the Balfour stuff out the door. Mm hmm And the last of uh, Kickstarter. Yeah. And whatever else needs to be shipped. Well, you guys have been really busting your yeah. humps in the warehouse. We are up to date right now. Give me more, I'll pack some more. See, guys, he, Coop needs more to do, so we need to get more orders in. Hey, Shaiko Sean is in the house. You can see we're back at HQ. It's like a celebrity show. Celebrity show. <laughs> yeah. Coop, working hard. Get us those questions, inquiries at coffincomics.com. We'll get them answered. We'll make sure that your shipment's correct. Everything you need, just let us know. Thank you, Sean. Everyone, Psycho Sean, and Badass Coop. Thank We're you, guys. You. We're going to show you guys. <laughs> yeah. See, guys, we all give a shit. We love what we do, and we love hooking you guys up with the books. I mean, we're fans, too, so... We are the the one thing that's cool about us is is like we're fans like you guys are fans, but we're just lucky enough to work here and to be able to help you guys and to give you guys the best service we can. You know, no one's perfect. Yeah, there's going to be mistakes down the line, but we try to do our best to fix it and get it corrected and get it in your hands in a timely manner. That's what we do. Caroline. Put your mask back on. Oh, wow. We're hating on Sean. Also, with our backstory, start the DBC Hammer. All right, that was me getting back into character. Um, we also offer our other chapters of La Muerta. If anyone has not picked up any of the other stories that uh, features La Muerta, um, you could pick them up during this Kickstarter. Chapter one was Descent. Chapter two is Last Rites. Chapter three is Vengeance. Chapter four is Retribution. Oh, that's a really nice, nice cover. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then chapter five is La Muerta Ascension. Now, this is the chapter that you all need to overpledge on because, as I said, if we beat... The numbers of La Muerta Ascension with the new Kickstarter. I'm cutting my hair off. I'm donating it. And then I'm going to have someone smash pie on my face. Maybe banana cream pie. Maybe chocolate silk. I don't know. But it's going to be a pie in my face. But our Kickstarter for La Muerta <coughs> Retaliation needs to beat La Muerta Ascension. So I challenge you guys to do that. We'll cut off my hair. I will donate it early instead of waiting till Christmas to donate it. I'm going to donate it if we beat this Kickstarter. So beat it so I can get a nice haircut. I can get some, some air on my back. Because, <laughs> man, it is really hot out here with long hair. So please, 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 I want to trim, and I'll do it with a grin. But you guys got to make sure retaliation beats ascension. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and recap a couple things. These are all the La Muerta Chase editions. They are made to look like Funko Pop figures. Terry, how are you? Thank you for joining us. And these are not figures. I repeat, these are not Funko Pop figures. These are homages. They are an actual comic book. See, nice and thin. No Funko Pop figure in there. So we do have to say that because some people seem to think there is a Funko Pops, but there is not. These are just homages. These are the Omegas in the back. You got blue, you got red, you got purple. There's white, gold. I'm going to call this one, it's not green. It, to me, it looks way more emerald. It's really nice.
<laughs> Those homage covers are amazing, Sean. I totally agree with you. And then the metal legend. Whew, man. That is a stunning piece. Thank you, Haley. You have a wonderful week. Um, message me tomorrow, and we'll see about um, getting you all taken care of with those books you were looking for um, that you were wondering about shipping. So let me know, please, Haley, and have a wonderful day at work. Thank you for joining us. Again, here's more mystery envelope stuff. Hollow foil, lucky 13. Again. Do not look at these in direct sunlight. You will go blind. I'm already got reflections of the uh, Coffin Comics logo all over my head. Wow, that, that's a hell of a damn good cover. Here's our metal card selection. These are all on the link. Go ahead, click on it. This is take link you into our <laughs> already done, okay. Yeah, definitely message me tomorrow, Haley. Um, and then um, we'll see about getting the ball rolling for you. Really, I love metal cards. Also, I did find some more metal card sets, folks. Once we're uh, done getting all the inventories uh, taken care of and whatnot, I'll start posting some more sets. Um, I think I might even have been able to find a uh, Hell Witch for the first Kickstarter um, metal card set. So... I will not be selling, breaking these sets up. They are sets. I will be selling them as such. I do have some that are actually just signed. A whole mess of them are signed by Brian. So there'll be some signed sets as well. These are the mystery envelopes that Joel Gomez did for us. There's the flamenco. This is the space case edition. Wasteland warrior. Punk rock edition really sharp cyborg all right this is the pirate really beautiful beautiful work Wow, these are, I think these are the originals? No. Still, looks like they'll be doing a, a set of these prints as well. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. God, I love my job. Let's see, that's the Victorian. It's the Jaguar edition. Crime Land, or oh, Criminal Edition. Wow, I want a fedora like that. This is the Cowgirl Edition. Viking. Yeah, dude, I totally agree. I really love Joel's art style, Miguel. There's something about the rawness and the grittiness. It just totally fits the book. This is the medieval edition. It just fits perfectly. And it's neat because I really love with these, these covers. Um, it, like, it captures that time period, but it still has the grittiness of uh, the La Muerta books themselves. So, yeah, I, I agree. He, he does amazing work. One of these days, uh, when I have extra scratch, uh, I might just have him commission a sketch for me. I'd love to have an original piece by him to hang on my walls. These in the background are 11 by 17 prints. That one, that one's just stunning. What do you think of that one, Miguel? Just look at that. It's weird, I've, since I've been uh, at home mostly doing a lot of the eBay stuff, and then um, seeing like Richard Ortiz and other folks uh, doing early works, 
my God, Richard's art has just gets better and better. It's just stunning. Look at that face. That's beautiful. Beautiful art. So, yeah, creative team on that. Bravo. Really outdid yourselves. Ooh, there's that piece again. This is just another stunning one. It's, it's interesting to see um, how difficult, difficult it is. Uh, all these things, Terry, are on our Kickstarter campaign for La Muerta. Um, just go ahead and click on the links that we have posted. They'll take you right there to the Kickstarter. These editions are these are all the mock-up editions right now, but just showing you a little bit of what we're offering. Um, we got two week, uh, week and a half, two weeks left of the campaign, uh, and then we'll be shutting it down. And then after all the orders are in and everything's been um, sent out and shipped out, um, whatever's left of these editions will go ahead and offer up to the public. Um, but that could be a while, but thank you for the question, Terry. Um, but yeah, all the links, we do things a little different here on the show. We don't do shout outs. There's links. You can click on the links and do all your shopping or check out everything there. Uh, there is also links to, uh, receive a 15 page digital download of the first, uh, lady death story. So we got a lot of fun stuff, including our VIP newsletter. You can sign up there. And you can you go ahead and um, use that and let you know about upcoming art editions we having coming up, con appearances, whatnot. So these are all the different 11 by 17 prints. Hi, Coop. Yes, go to our page and click. The, everything right here is on the Kickstarter. This is for the La Muerta Retaliation Kickstarter. It's about another week. But yeah, this is our Funko Pop homages. I have to tell you, Terry, it is not a figure. It is an homage. It's an actual book. See? Oh, paper thin. Uh, we have to do shout outs because some people thought we were actually making Funko Pop figures. We are not. These are just homages to uh, Funko Pop. So hope that helped you. Um, but definitely there is a link to go onto our store. I know, aren't they cute? Um, we even did action figure ones that look like the Marvel Legacy, Terry. And we actually had to tell you that this is not an action figure. They're not action figures. So um, we have to put that out there. But it's good that um, it looks realistic enough that it fools everyone. Now, these bezel editions, this is the Scarlet Medals. Ten will be randomly distributed throughout the Kickstarter campaign. Um, I don't want Funkos. Yes, Funkos are crack cocaine. Um, I only have two or three. Uh, my wife, I think, has 37 and growing. So, yeah, <laughs> they are highly addictive. Um, thank God I don't work in comic book retail because then I don't see what's available as often and have to make out a list for uh, Christmas and birthdays. <laughs> thank you for joining us, Terry. I hope you're having fun. And this is the other uh, editions we'll be kicking in throughout the campaign. This is the um, Emerald Metal Edition. Beautiful work like that. And like I say, I have 20 <laughs> stop. Yes, you are a brave individual if you can make it to just 20 pops. Yeah, it takes a dedication to not buy more Funko Pops. I'm addicted to Godzilla stuff, so yeah. they only have a couple. Uh, rumor has it they'll be doing more, so um, damn. I, I can't look at them. But these are also going to be randomly distributed throughout the campaign. The high rollers, the mega ballers, high end, even folks that just order the regular editions have a chance of getting one of these just randomly thrown in your order. It's awesome. We get all excited when we pull the orders and you see that you have uh, someone's order that has a tab on it saying winner. We just randomly slap um, those stickers on orders as they come out. So, yeah, it's really cool. It makes it so everyone has a chance to... Uh, you know, I have a chance of getting um, one of the more rare exclusive editions. And it's just thrown in for free, so that's pretty awesome. Again, this is the hardcover edition, Paolo Pantaniera. I'm sorry I'm saying his name wrong, but look at this. This is, this is why I love working here. Look at this. This is a 3D representation of this art. 
This was just recently fabricated two weeks ago. We were telling you all about this. These are also going to be randomly thrown into the Kickstarter. I know that emoji totally re was the reaction I was looking for. Oh, wow. It's freaking amazing. Just look at that. I mean, we're just throwing this stuff in. I mean, it's great. This is really, and this is 3D. Look at that. Just amazing stuff, guys. I know. <laughs> See, here's the thing about this is I've seen all the different trials of this thing throughout the uh, months that they've been working on this cover. And to finally see it completed and done, it's amazing. This is some really great work. I think this is one of the coolest covers we have made um, here at Coffin Comics. That is just a stunner. Yeah. OMG is correct. Yeah, gold sculpted edition. Yeah, it is a sworn gasm there, Daryl. I totally agree with you because I just about had one when they uh, they brought it into HQ to make the video. It was, wow. I, I, it's, it's amazing to see the finished product in front of me. It, it, I can't wait to see your guys' reaction when um, whoever the 10 winners of these that get them. Uh, I can't wait to see the excitement on everyone's post. It's amazing work. There's a soft cover edition. This is also available on the Kickstarter. Original art. And guys, there is a spot where you can get a mid waist and up sketch by Joel Gomez, and it's like a hundred bucks. Really good deal. It's one of a kind, and we're offering that on the Kickstarter. This is the amazing homage cover, homage to Desperado. The amazing Robert Rodriguez film, no sequel to El Mariachi. Love those freaking movies. This is the jeweled edition. Again, I really love the placing of the jewels on these things. Just pops. I think this might be probably one of my favorite La Muerta jeweled editions. Just really badass, beautiful. Beautiful, classy, badass. That's La Muerta. Beautiful, classy, badass. Much like a lot of women in my life. Beautiful, classy, and badass. Here is the hollow foil edition. And these are the mock-ups. These aren't the real books. Uh, mock-ups, um, I do sometimes will sell them later on. They're basically representation of the books, but it's clear on in the inside. But a neat idea to do if you buy one of these mock-ups when I sell them, some guy said he was going to have artists sketch inside of them. So then you have a very unique, exclusive art book. Here is the metal cover. <sighs> I can't wait to make those. Those are going to be so amazing to make. Can't wait. <sighs> Stunning books. So just so folks know, there will be some more mock-up editions popping up on the eBay store. Um, like I, say, I just want to make sure we get all the inventories up before I upload anything. Because I don't want stuff that... Um, might have popped up in the store that someone bought and, you know, we didn't um, take care of the inventory. So just trying to make sure we dot our I's, cross our T's, make sure everyone uh, gets the things they like. Um, but yes, um, it'll be nice to get all the inventories done and ready to go. Beautiful, beautiful print. Again, there will be a La Muerte t-shirt offered on this campaign. I can't wait to get it. John Boy Myers did the art. Beautiful piece. And I like that it's just two tone colors, the, the red and white and black. Just, oh. Yeah, the Muerta look beautiful. It's just a plain black and white comic. It's just amazing. This is the fine art. Everything here is on our Kickstarter. This is for La Muerta Retaliation. This is the Dark Reaper fine art print. Usually in the fine art prints, we don't make too many of them. Uh, usually they're all serial numbered down in this area with uh, a signature if you want a signature. This is the um, Mexi Noir editions. I love these. These are very cool 1960s-ish kind of um, pulp uh, detective comics you could get. Or uh, novels. Novels. Bleh. Speaking is not my first language. And there's the uh, amazing Dan Mendoza set that we'll be offering. 
This is the metallic jeweled edition. Very stunning, very beautiful. God bless it. I can't wait to get these books in my hands. And then I get to deliver them to you all. So this is the uh, Lethal, there you go. Crystal Metallico, Dark Reaper edition. Lethal edition, and then you have the Naughty Mama Z. And then you also have the Deadly Duo set where you get the two books and they make one big image. Legendary collection. You get three editions in the legendaries. Sometimes they throw in other things. I don't know if they're going to do that, but that's one thing about Brian. He definitely keeps you on his toes when his Kickstarters because you never know what he's going to do. So that's uh, just a sampling of all the really amazing books, cards, prints, mystery envelopes. This is, this is what we're offering for La Muerta, Chapter 6. Really cool stuff. We're throwing in a lot of neat kick in, uh, drop ins for you guys. Not only that, who knows what Brian's going to announce next. But look at all the color. Look at all the beauty. Look at all the amazing stories we have here at Coffin Comics. And we want to thank you guys. And also, we have the Coffin Comics Kickstarter value proposition. Each physical awards includes free all unlocked stretch goals, one stretch goal pack per backer free U.S. shipping, a free digital download, and free autograph and certificate, optional, with each order. And that's one thing we also offer uh, on the store as well. Uh, Brian will sign any book, and we will not charge you extra for the signature. We'll even throw a sweet COA to go in with it. Nice, nice metal card set. So thank you, everyone. Hopefully I'll have uh, cameraman Jimmy back soon. He's uh, taking care of some things. Busy man, busy man, but I have to say, a lot of the new videos we've been uploading here at Coffin have been amazing. So definitely want to give a shout out to uh, the crews that have been making our videos and Jimmy posting them up on all the uh, social networks. It, the videos have just get better and better. And... Um, like I say, thank you very much, everyone. Um, we are a funded publisher. We all do our backings. Most of our backings are all through Kickstarter for our newest books and chapters. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to Sean at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Um, I will be uh, hopefully getting some more stuff loaded up on the eBay store by next week. Um, but that depends on how quickly we can get the, uh, make sure the uh, numbers are all correct on the inventory so we can get the ball rolling on all that stuff. So I say we try to be as thorough. We like to dot our I's and cross our T's. Just about time to wrap up. If anyone has any questions real quick, please give a shout out. I got about two more minutes left. And then uh, the Coffin Comics shopping network will go off the air, but it will be rebroadcast throughout all our social media sites, Facebook, YouTube. We got a YouTube channel, click on that and go ahead and sign up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Got a lot of fun stuff, music videos have been on there, videos on um, some of our making of stuff. Like I know there was a really great video uh, Brian and Jimmy did uh, at the printer press and I've never, I worked in a print shop but never on the publication of comics. And it was a really fun, very educational uh, thing to watch is how those books are made. Um, so we have a lot of fun stuff, a lot of fun con content. Um, it'd be fun if we could throw up some cool horror films or stuff like that. Dude, Damien, I am blind. There's that much shiny, okay? Just, I got glare all over in my eyes. Yeah, I look like um, a lens flare from uh, a J.J. Abrams film. It's that bad. So right now, the uh, Kickstarter for La Muerta Retaliation is at 110750 Thank you, everyone who has backed it. I'm going to go ahead and step out. My name's Hooligan. I'm sworn to you, as is everyone here at Coffin Comics. You guys be safe and looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend. And whatever you do, don't get caught. Bye-bye.